Okay, so today's video is gonna be about Geminis. I tweeted out a poll. You guys said that you'd rather see the Gemini video over the Libra video. So sorry, Libras, you're gonna have to fucking wait. This video is gonna be based off of two Gemini females uh, this time around. I've known a few, like, Gemini guys, but I feel like they're not necessarily noteworthy in the slightest. I swear on my life, every single girl that I have ever liked has been a Gemini. And it's weird because I feel like every single Gemini girl that I've been friends with is generally not my friend for very long. I have two Gemini girls in particular that this video is gonna be based upon, and they're both fairly similar to each other. The two Gemini girls that I'm gonna be talking about, I'm gonna talk about girl number one, and then I'm gonna talk about girl number two, and then I'll just kind of combine what I've learned about Geminis from both of them afterwards. The girl number one, uh, was a co-worker of mine. I worked with her for quite some time. I got along with her the second we met. I actually thought that she was a huge bitch whenever I first met her, because she just had one of those faces, you know? She just had one of those face faces. I was kind of intimidated by her at first, but then I started talking to her and realized that she's just cool. And believe me when I tell you that this girl was a mess all around, like all around in all areas of her life but it didn't start to show until the end of our friendship. I feel like our friendship was constantly filled with her having these crazy outrageous stories about something that had happened to her and her best friend or something that had happened to her and her boyfriend or something that had happened at work. It was always drama, drama, drama that was surrounding this girl. And I'm no stranger to drama. I mean, I'm an Aries. I get myself into problems all the fucking time. But this Gemini girl was just Oh my god, she constantly had a problem. It was constant. It was like it was like nothing could make her happy, but then everything could make her happy. Does that make sense? I think what her problem was was that she was constantly following her heart and never her head. Like it was always emotions over facts. She was very emotionally driven is what I'm trying to say. She had this weird thing with guys where guys could hurt her all they wanted. They could walk all over her. She was so such a pushover with guys. I noticed that she was in some very unhealthy relationships with like nearly every single dude that was in her life. I feel like the people she surrounded herself with were the people that really wanted to live their lives strictly off of a feeling. If something didn't feel right in the moment, then it wasn't right. But if that same thing that didn't feel right in the previous moment came back around a couple moments later and felt right, then she was all for it. It was like she could never make her mind up about anything. It was like, do I want this or do I want that? She talked herself in circles a lot. It was really hard to keep up with her. She was also really horrible with keeping plans. If you're trying to make plans with the Gemini, my prayers go out to you, man. Because honestly, how does anyone ever make any plans with the Gemini ever? We would have plans to go hang out and she'd sleep through them. And it happened quite often. I never held it against her because yeah, she's a Gemini. I guess some of the stereotypes about Geminis are that they're the worst signs ever. I wouldn't say that Geminis are the worst sign ever. I would say that they're the most complex sign ever because that makes more sense. So the things that I learned from Gemini number one that will not apply to every single Gemini out there, so please keep that in mind. Drama always, always, always finds a way to them they're most likely going to be very emotionally driven. Those emotions are normally always going to be extremes. I have yet to meet a chill Gemini. Geminis are super duper fucking edgy. You can never go wrong with having a Gemini friend. However, if you're not okay with giving them passes on certain things because they're Geminis, just don't be friends with the Gemini. Now, Gemini number two is a girl that I just met recently, and let me tell you, the second I met her, we clicked instantly. There's just something about Gemini girls that I'm just like, hi, please be my friend. But Gemini number two is a friend of mine, and I haven't known her for very long, so I can't really speak on everything that's happened in her life. But from the initial impression that I get from her, she is a Gemini to a T. 
Now, she doesn't have drama circulating around her yet, but I feel like she will at some point because she's just got that kind of personality that's like, she wants to get into some shit and she's okay if she does. And don't get me wrong, none of the Geminis that I know are like, <laughs> let's just get like, break the law. <laughs> but they just have this youthful, let's go out and adventure type vibe. Like that is what I get from all of the Geminis that I've met. This Gemini is very bubbly. She's very, very bubbly. Genuinely, she has cute personality, very friendly. She's so friendly. She can literally talk to anyone about anything. She's a bro, like what can I say? I don't, Gemini one was this negative person that I had in my life that I eventually cut off uh, and Gemini two in my opinion so far has been a pretty positive person even though they kind of had those differences they're both personalities that were really really addictive in a sense and I don't know what other word to use besides addictive but that was just what I personally experienced is that I just liked being around them no matter what type of personality that they had I don't know even though from Gemini Number one, I got weird negative vibes from her. I still was willing to put up with it because I liked being around her. And Gemini too is, you know, she's, she's a new friend. So what can I really say? Like I'm trying to get to know her. Something that I learned from Gemini number two is that Geminis are very, very similar to Sagittarius's. Like I mentioned in my last video, I like Sagittarius's and I think that they have the capacity to hurt people very easily and not really mean to. But I think the way that I can differentiate between a Sagittarius hurting you and a Gemini hurting you is that most of the time Sagittarius kind of go with the flow in most cases and so whenever they hurt you it's like oh like I I'm sorry I, I didn't know that you know my actions were gonna lead me here in some way when a Sagittarius hurts you it's coming from a blissfully ignorant part uh, and they just don't mean it. Whereas Geminis, I feel like they're a little bit more calculated and if you get on their bad side, for instance, if you say something wrong, if you look at them weird and they are emotionally driven to not like you, they will hurt you and they know that they're doing it. I've never met a more spiteful person than an angry Gemini. And just like I gave advice to Sagittarius's in my last video, I kind of wanted to end it with advice for all the Geminis out there, when it comes to emotional situations, try not to do anything out of impulse. And I know that you are so quick to want to shut down, but think before you do anything. Because I feel like that's why a lot of the Gemini girls that I know have gotten into a lot of the drama that they've gotten into. They're so quick to say something that they don't mean. I feel like Geminis are the signs that will cuss you out one second and then tell you how much they love you the next second. I know Geminis get a lot of shit, uh, most likely rightfully so. Um, I love you guys, but like, <laughs> anyways, that's all I have for this video. The Libra one will probably be next. And Libras, just a fair warning, the Libra that I'm going to be talking about in the Libra video, I don't like. He's dead to me. So anyways, that's just your warning. Okay guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye! No, I didn't just say go fuck you, fuck your mom, fuck your brother. Like, I didn't say any of that. Like, <laughs> who did this?